What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 155 of the Games and Grab podcast. My name is Sunny G, and I'm here as always with Finn Steele. Finn, what's happening, man? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Uh, No Steve this week, but he'll be back next week. Yes. He's attending a gig tonight, so he couldn't join us. But we're still here to give you that podcasting goodness. Oh, yeah. Every week, almost every week <laughs> this year. Virtually Pretty every, much week. every week. Yeah, we've been doing something every week, at least a stream, if not a podcast. That's it. We're, this is literally the most consistent we've ever been. Exactly. But uh, yeah, so we've been giving you something every week, whether it's a weekly episode or whether it's a live stream. Either way, you're getting that games and grabs goodness, and that's yes. all that matters. You're welcome. You are very welcome. <laughs> oh, man. So we're approaching. The start of another month, so this week we'll, we are. we'll be uh, reading out the games of the month. Yes, how is it October already? I know, it's crazy. It's another mad. week closer to Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Christmas. you love Christmas. Don't even, don't even begin to lie. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you sound like you love it. <laughs> it's great, it's fine. It's Christmas. Oh, come on, don't be a screw. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm dying. Um, you... COVID? That is great. No, I'm fine. I can still taste. It's good. We'll start calling yeah. you the Finch. The Finch? <laughs> yeah. The Finch, the Finch that stole Christmas. It's... No, I'm joking. It's fine. I like Christmas. Okay. But I guess you work in retail, so it does make it a, a, that <laughs> tiny bit shittier. Yeah, that's it. Work in retail, you just, you just learn to hate everything. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I, I can't relate, but... <laughs> and people. I love Christmas. Yeah, that's fair. Well, look, man, it's Halloween first. Yeah, the Halloween first. Halloween first. Got a wedding to look forward Hell to, yeah. which is Get on Halloween. Wedding. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, man. Growing up, finally. We're getting old. We're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> becoming, becoming, a, becoming a real adult. Yeah, good stuff. I'm joking. I ain't going to be an adult. I'm just going to be married <laughs> instead. This is going to be married, but still a man-child. <laughs> yeah, young at heart. Yeah, young at heart. Is that song? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Great <Good> times. <laughs> Great times. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. But yeah, you're not hard. you got to be. I think some people want to be old before they're old. Yeah, you get people getting married in like early 20s. It's like, come on, that's no fun. I mean, they don't get that. Not even to... just that stuff. Just like, you know, general stuff. Like wanting to like get old and be able to act older than they actually are and all that kind of shit. Yeah, that's no fun. No, that's no fun. That's why we do this podcast. So we can talk about boobs and be immature (laughs) and do some swearing, play video games and talk wrestling. That's what we're here for. We're here to be immature. Exactly. And you love it. You're welcome. Yeah, Yeah, you guys do love it. You're the (laughs) immature adults as well. That's why they come here. That's what, you know, that's the main, yeah, yeah, the main reason we're coming here. Yeah, we're we're like their, (laughs) um, like their escape from reality. Exactly. A boring <laughs> work related reality. Escape from Adam. Where you're living. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've had a um I've had a McDonald's today, so I'm pretty happy. Nice, nice. What do you go with? Yeah. Uh a triple cheeseburger. Nice. Classic. Yeah, man, it's good. Uh large fries. And uh, a Coke Zero, because you know, you don't want to get fat. No, we don't want to get fat, no, of course. And that's the best way to counteract it is by having <laughs> diet drink. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's that's how it works, right? Absolutely, yeah. What else would they call it? Diet. Exactly. Uh, so you, yeah. you eat the fatty food, have diet drink, and you, you don't it. put any weight on. That's exactly how it works. Yeah, exactly. It's just science. <laughs> yeah. Science, bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right. Um, let's get into it. Yes, let's. Yes. Finn, what have you been playing? Uh, what, indeed? Well, uh, the night I played Diablo 2 with you in co op. Certainly did. It was awesome. Love some Diablo 2. Uh, very old school. It drops you in without telling you anything. It's like, yep. right, you're in the game, figure it out, go. Yeah. That was literally it as well. It like, dumped <laughs> us in a field. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, uh, is this the start of the game? And it's just like, yep, <laughs> this is the start of the game. Do yep. what you want. <laughs> yep. Went around, found, found a quest giver, then went around and beat goblins and stuff to death. Yeah. There's, uh, there's literally not even a marker for the quest giver. It's like, no. it could be one of these people on the map, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, 
So like, yeah, Rob Bud, like, this is before Waypoint sort of invented. So like, yeah. he's got to run around and find it. Which I kind of like, to be honest. I like, like this old school approach to it. It makes you sort of um, explore the game a bit more. Because if you just run, yeah. sometimes, if the quest marker's there, you'll naturally just sort of gravitate towards the quest marker and just run straight there. Yeah. But with this, you just cover every blade of grass. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's not like the world's like super massive. Like it was like no. a Ubisoft game and it didn't tell you where to go. It's like, well, <laughs> to wander around aimlessly for 100 hours. Yeah, I mean, it is <laughs> penned in. I mean, it's definitely a lot bigger sort of open space-wise than Diablo 3 is. Mm. But you're still penned in. So, you know, you, you, you get the perimeter out of the way. You do all that. You, you know, you, you uncover that bit of the map. Then you just go exploring and you find what you find. Exactly. Well, that's good fun. Look forward to playing more of that. Definitely, yeah. Um, what else? More Second Order 2. That's still going strong. It's oh, still okay. Game. Still enjoying it? Yep, yeah, enjoying it loads. Really, really good. Good? Put a lot of effort into that. Excuse are me. To make the, it... um, are you going for the Platinum? Yeah, I think so. It seems pretty doable. Yeah, it's collect all, the, um, yeah, collect all the things. Uh, Gaming Melt got the 1,000 gamer score on uh, the Xbox version. Nice, very nice. So if he can do it, you can definitely <laughs> Anyone do can. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, lovely game. Lovely all the environments and the characters and everything. Mm. So good. Um, I finished Skyward Sword on Switch. Congratulations. That's done. Thanks very much. I've got my soundboard up. Otherwise, I'll give, give yourself a round of applause. of applause. I will. Give me a second. Um... But yeah, that's been done. That's still a great game. Enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, well, there's something else that I'm not remembering. Oh, Death Stranding. I installed the PS5 version of Death Stranding. Have briefly you played, played it that. Yet? Uh, but briefly, yeah, I had a little bit run around. Um, and yeah, it looks amazing. It looks incredible, as, you know, shocking, I know. It looks yeah, amazing I mean, it did PS5. before, but I'm assuming it looks better. Yeah, it looks better. Uh, it runs at 50 FPS. Nice. Yeah, amazing. Um, it's pretty when you've got all the new stuff unlocked when you when you start. I'm obviously imported my you know save data. Yeah. Um, it gives you all the new good. Well, it unlocks all the new stuff. You have to go find it yourself. But it doesn't like explicitly explicitly tell you this is where you go for this. So you have to like look it up and find it. Of course. Because, of course, course it doesn't. Why yeah. would it? Of course not. Games, you know. <laughs> hey, here's all this cool new stuff you get with this uh, special deluxe director's cut edition of the game. But <laughs> there is a but. Got to find it yourself, and it's just hidden. We're not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I mean, it like, drops a hint, but like, it's not, you know, it took me ages to figure out. So I'll just look it up. <laughs> go, to, go, go to all the new places, unlock the last couple of trophies it didn't give me. And yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I've got that? it installed on my PlayStation ready to play. I'm looking forward to uh, jumping in and, uh, and trying it out. Nice. Love that game. Have you tried Kenny yet? Uh, not yet. I haven't installed. Hmm. I haven't tried okay. it yet. Cool. Cool. And uh, yeah, that's about it. How about you? Um, so I finished Deathloop since the last time we recorded a podcast. Congratulations! Have a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Now, this isn't a game that I thought was good. I was going to enjoy at all. Yeah, that's fair. I said this last time out that I thought it was really good, and yeah, it exceeded all expectations. The trailers did nothing for me whatsoever, um, but yeah, I'm. It's easily one of my games of the year if not my favorite game of the year so far nice. and it was just brilliant i can't wait for you to play it so i'm looking forward to hearing what you think to it mm. but it's it's really fantastic I, just um just a really fun experience not as frantic as the trailers would make it out to be you can sort of play it your own way and the game yeah. encourages you to do so you That's don't have cool. to play one specific way you can sort of um, sneak around dishonored you know style or you can be a lunatic like me <laughs> and go gung ho, or you can try a little bit of both, and it, it all works. And it's I can't recommend it highly enough. It's just so good. Awesome, yeah. I'd say the trailer's a little bit, well, a bit pants, weren't they? Don't need to know what the game yeah. it was. Yeah, because to the point I was, I just wasn't even watching it. Was like, ah, oh, this again. Yeah, we'll skip. It's like this uh, game that it's a PlayStation exclusive, but it's not also, but it is. <laughs> For a year or something, yeah. who knows? Then no one tells us anything. Time exclusives are weird, but um, <laughs> yeah, it was really, really good. And you know, you know me. I it's rare that I sort of stick with a game from the off, like yeah. play it and then just carry on playing it until it's done. Usually, I sort of get distracted easily, and then I lose my way and end up never playing it. But with this, I was just, I was just hooked. 
everything about it was just great. The 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 way the gameplay works, the way that the game looks, the characters in the game, the dialogue, the voice acting, everything about it was just so good and so enjoyable uh, that it just made me want to carry on playing it and finding all the clues and yeah, it was just it was just so good and a a really fun world to sort of explore. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, yeah I'm try that. Go, so go play that. Um I've played some FIFA, uh, FIFA 22. I, I really like it. I'm not going to bore you with it now. Um, <laughs> me and Steve are going to do a separate podcast breaking down FIFA 22 and eFootball 2022, which launched today, which looks like things. a pile of fucking garbage. So <laughs> um, we're going to sort of do a, a separate podcast, probably drop it next week, uh, just sort of breaking down the two. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Um, I've been playing a little bit more nba 2k22 as well which i love cool but to be honest death loop has really sort of taken up a lot of my time because it's not a short game no no um but it's not mega long but it's not a short game at the same time so between death loop and uh fifa i've not really sort of been playing much of anything else but uh yeah i'm just having a just having a, I'm having a great time gaming at the minute. You know, I've cleared off Ghost of Tsushima, beat Deathloop, and now I've got Kenner to play. I've got Death Stranding to play. Uh, been playing Diablo with you, and nice. you know it's sports game season. So yeah, I'm just having a blast at the minute. Good, awesome. Uh, I'm in love with the PS5, man. I really, I really am. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. I, I love my Xbox. Love my Series X. It's great. Uh, we picked up a Series S as well for for K, mm. and we've got that set up in our in our bedroom. And cool. it's a wonderful little machine, man. It really is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really, really good. Uh, definitely worth picking up as, as a Games Pass machine. Because yeah. it's just great. Really, really good stuff. But uh, the PlayStation, I just love. I bought I bought the Pulse 3D headset. Oh, yeah. Um, and I really like it. Um, cool. I, I think the sound is is great. I know you couldn't really get along with it. Yeah, I think it's because I was comparing it to these. And these are fully decent headphones. It was like fair. the bass, yeah. The bass was like super, super heavy on the, on the uh, yeah. place of the headphones compared to what I was used to. Um, but yeah, no, they weren't bad headphones by any means. It's just, uh, yeah, not what I was used to. Yeah, but it's all good. Um, yeah, so I've, I've got them and they're great. And I love, I just, I love the whole experience with the PS Five. Um, you know, you've got the the, the 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 headphones on the wireless headphones with the three D audio. I know all headphones have three D audio if they're plugged in or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, the wireless experience with the DualSense controller, which is you know the best controller that you can get on any console. Yeah. Um, and just the way that the haptic feedback and stuff works, and it's just a great experience. It truly feels like a next gen experience when you're gaming on the PS5. Yeah. And yeah, I'm I'm just absolutely sort of uh, I'm in love with PS5 at the minute. I love it. It's great. Yeah, I love, I love 3D audio in general. Like this is on PS4, but I remember in I think it was the Last of Us Two, I was like crashed down behind an object i heard someone like coming down the stairs behind me and i could yeah. tell exactly where it was as i'm listening to it it's like oh there he is yeah to, it was the same with death really like cool. the footsteps and stuff it was like oh wow this is crazy where are these footsteps and stuff coming from but it, yeah um so yeah I, i'm just really enjoying my ps5 experience at the minute yeah cool yeah me too here's something here's something i get a kick out of what's that um anytime like uh, a news uh, like a, a gaming media outlet put something up about PS5 yeah. and then the comments are like oh it'd be good if I could get one I, I get a kick out of it because I'm just <laughs> yeah. sitting here there thinking You're hey, a little smug. just mm, pre-ordering you dipshits <laughs> yeah I, I thought basically that would like take pre-orders now I guess on there just for when they get one What the, there is sort of stock cropping up here and there like game even this week and I think Argos and some other places they've had stock of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X has been popping up in places so they are coming up you just have to be quick if you yeah. want one that bad, just look. <laughs> yeah, they're like things that like notify you when something comes to stock. Mm. Just like download one of those apps, get it going, and you know. Yeah, it isn't that difficult. Yeah, let me say that. But as hey, people with PS5s, <laughs> people like to people like to moan. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's ninety percent of Twitter. People moaning. That's fair enough, yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, I should point out because I've just received a text message about this. Um, mm. Kaylee bought me the Pulse headset as a wedding present, along with Ooh. the red DualSense controller. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Fancy. No. There we go. <laughs> that's, a, good. That's, a good, that's a good wife-to-be we got right there. That is a, it's a good wedding present. It's a it good is. wife-to-be that I've got. Yes. <laughs> and for her wedding present, she got an Xbox Series S. 
Very nice. So it's a game, gaming centric uh, wedding. That's it, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. The best kind. The best kind. Yeah. She 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 put who in Ooh. big old capital letters bought you that headset, mm-hmm. bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. So this is this is what that's what I'm marrying into. <laughs> nice. Good love. A life of being called <clears throat> bitch. Bitch. And I am, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> that's fair. Whatever you want to do. I'm not judge. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Do we have any gaming news to speak of? Uh, yes. I have a few bits and pieces. Oh, yes. Yes. <clears throat> Announced today. Excuse me. Cool. Uh, Blue Point is now officially a part of Sony Interactive. This is good. Yay. Very good. They've made, obviously, Demon's yeah. Souls and Shadow of the Colossus for them. Yep. Both are incredible. And uh, I think but pretty much... Did I read they were going to be focused on original content? Um, I didn't see that, actually. Quite yeah, possibly. Yeah, I think... I mean, I, I don't doubt that there'll be remasters still. But um, I'm sure I saw a headline earlier on that said they were going to be focusing on original games. Mm, that'd, be good. that'd be interesting. Good to see what they can come up with. Mm. Very cool. But I think they're, it's pretty the, much... they're the remaster daddies, though. They are. They're two, two incredible remasters. Um, literally couldn't be any better than they are, in my opinion. No, Shadow of the Colossus is unbelievable. Demon yeah. Souls is really good as well. Mind blowing. Uh, but still really fucking hard, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty much inevitable and it's going to happen. Um, yeah. They've made games for them, like, exclusively for them for so long. It's like, it's yeah. going to happen. So that's good. Yeah, that's uh, good. Good news. Another great cool. studio acquired by Sony. Excellent. Good stuff. Um, a bit of less good news. Uh, eFootball 22 and game uh, with formerly PES, PES, Pro Evolution Saga, what do you call it, um, is now the worst reviewed game in Steam history, sitting at yeah. uh, whopping 8%. Yeah, I that's- think that's been that's <laughs> definitely been review bombed. I can't yeah, yeah. imagine it's anywhere near as bad as that would indicate. Um, the thing with the thing with eFootball, I mean, I, I've heard it's crap. I haven't played it yet. It came out today. I've got it downloaded, but and I've not played it. But I, it looks bad. From yep. Some of the weird graphic stuff, and I don't really understand why they've changed it so much. Uh, I, it's a bit well, weird. I mean, I think it's to 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 make it sort of playable for everybody, including those on mobile, because it's just going to be cross play for everybody yeah. against everybody. But, you know, this is version 0.90 or something. Not even version 1.0. Right, yeah. So it's a glorified demo um, that doesn't have all of its features. And we're, uh, the features are coming in the in the next few weeks. Yeah. Here's something. <laughs> Don't bring the game out if it's not ready to be released. Yeah. I think we've got to hit those yearly targets. That's a problem. Good old Konami. So fucking stupid. But um, <laughs> I'm going to play it and judge, judge it for myself. I don't have... I mean, my expectations can't be any lower than they are. Yeah, it's just how um, good FIFA's been reviewing. It's going to have trouble <laughs> keeping yeah. up. FIFA's really good. Uh, and I'm a... I'm, you know, you know me. I've always, I'm always a big Pez fan. Uh, I've been over the last few years. Uh, well, for a long, long time since... ISS Pro on the PS1. I've been wow. playing Pez, and now it's gone free to play. And seemingly they've they've really shot themselves in the foot with it and messed it up. But hey, look, I'm going to try it out. And like I said, me and Steve will talk about both in depth and give our um, opinions on both. I really like FIFA. Okay, that much I can say. But with this, um, I think it's it's going to take some work. But look, not free free to play games. They usually start life not being all that great Fortnite is a great example of this when it came out it was so incredibly bare the the map was literally grass water and trees (laughs) yeah it didn't start off as it didn't even have that well after that that later it's like this might be a fun side game and then (laughs) look what happened yeah look i mean it blew up but you know so there's definitely room for improvement um (laughs) there's much room for improvement but I'm going to keep it just installed because I like the idea of the free to pr- uh, free to play model mm. but they shouldn't have brought it out without it being version 1.0 ready in my opinion. Yeah, I see some of the like graphics uh comparisons. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's weird. I mean it's like I've seen some pictures where the the character models with the player models look really good, but then I've seen others 
where they look like aliens. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange. It's very inconsistent, and um, they could have just imported the gameplay from PES 2021 season update and built their free-to-play model around that, and it would have been way better than what they're doing now. Yeah, to see like the way camp, the way the players move. Like, obviously, I'm not a football guy, but like someone like comes to tackle someone, and it's like shoot, like turbo yeah. boost <laughs> forwards out of the way. Uh, like, yeah, I mean, you know, what, you know what running looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that happened to me off football. <laughs> yeah. But they've, they've got a real tall task on their hands. They would have seen the feedback today, and they yeah. won't be happy with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've not played it myself. I'm not going to sit here and pan it based on what I. But based on what I've seen, it. It's not good. Yeah. Thanks, Ganali. Yeah, cheers, but really just fucking it, fucking it up. Something <laughs> you didn't even... I just... This is the only thing that they put out these days of any worth, and yep. they can't even do that. So, just fold. Yeah, just don't. Fold. Just keep making your pajinko machines and buckle off. Yeah. Yeah. Just start making games. Yeah. Sell something help to someone. Give it to yep. Kojima and then buckle yep. off. You brought all the uh, <laughs> Castlevania collections that you could possibly bring out now. So yeah, you've done that. Um, sell Metal Gear Solid to someone. Sell Silent Hill to someone. And go fuck yourselves. <laughs> yes, a solid message <laughs> from, from Sunny. Yeah. I like it. Uh, right, what else we got? So Playtest and Blast games have been announced. Uh, mm-hmm. Not going to lie, pretty lackluster month. <laughs> uh, we've got Mortal Kombat X, which is good, but pretty old and is already a part of the PS5 Blazers and Plus collection. Yeah, I found that one really weird. strange. I thought at least they might give Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, that would have made sense, I would have thought, but... Because it's been out ages yeah. now and they've... everyone's bought it. Yeah. Who wanted to buy it, at least. Yeah, but a strange one. Oh, well. Yeah. That's that. I've got PGA Tour 2K21. Golf Which ball. is good, but, you know, that's very niche. Yeah, golf is a pretty niche sport. Because you're not you're not going to play, are you? Nah. No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, and my... I already have it. <laughs> yeah, I add it to my library. That's a little games, just because. <laughs> just so yeah. it's there. But uh, yeah, nah, I'm good. Yeah, and the uh, game. Exactly. And the... Go yeah, sorry, sorry, I was going to say a game called uh, Hell Let Loose on PS5, which I haven't heard of. But uh, it's, it's like new. Got... I think. It's not. It's not even out, is it? I don't think so. Made by Team Seventeen, the guys who originally made like Worms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like a this war. This is very different. Yeah, very different. It's like a war, World War Two based first person shooter. Yeah, yeah, I think it could be alright. Might give it a try. I, I mean, look, Team Seventeen make decent games. Worms is yeah. great. Yeah. Um, it might be fine. <laughs> yeah, it might be fine. We'll see. It might be fine. I mean, it probably needs to be free. To, I mean, it's not going to compete anyway. But obviously, mm. Call of Duty is out soon. Battlefield Beta starts next week and is out soonish. Um, Good point. No one's so, going to be buying <laughs> this game, are they? That Insurgency Desert Storm or whatever it's called, the one that looked like um, Spec Ops The Line. Oh, yeah. Um, that's out today, I think. And so there's there's a fair amount of first-person shooters out in the wild at the minute. So um, that is probably better off being free. Yeah, definitely. That makes sense. Cool, so that's that. Um, on the Xbox side of things, we've got the Game Pass games. Uh, for October announced so far. Um, we have on the 1st of October a game called Phoenix Point. Uh, we have Back for Blood, the Left 4 Dead inspired uh, four player shooter coming on October yeah. 12th. Oh, that's soon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Looking forward to that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, we have a game called The Rift Breaker on October 14th. Mm hmm. Uh, the Good Life on October 15th. Mm-hmm. Echo Generation on October 21st. Anything to do with the dolphin? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a game called Moonglow Bay on October 26th. Cool. Sounds terrible. Yep. Uh, Age of Empires 4 on October 28th. A sequel to some classic games from the past. Cool. Uh, base, no. Bassmaster Fishing 2022. Not bass master fishing or something else. Is it like a bass master where he's like playing bass? Uh, yeah, yeah. And also it's... just like he's got a fishing hook on the end of his bass. <laughs> exactly, like, yeah. Bum, bum, playing bass. A carp or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how fishing works. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want the game now. I want that game to be a thing. Me too. Yeah. Bass, bass master. Make it. <laughs> Make bass it master fishing. 
And uh, that's all that's been announced so far, but more games will be announced in the first week of October. So more to look forward um, to. Today, on Game mm-hmm. Pass, Scarlet Nexus uh, became uh, a part of it. Of course, yes, I saw that. Um, As did Marvel's earlier. Avengers. Wow, that's good. Scarlet Nexus is really good. I bought it, haven't played it. What kind of game of is it? I think it you've is, told me about it before, but I can't remember. It is an action, sort of like a Devil May Cry, Bayonetta style uh, oh, action really? game. Yeah, I believe. I had it in my head that it was like um, some sort of JRPG. I don't know why. Yeah, it is sort of like, it's very Japanese anime inspired. Um, but it's, it's all, I guess it's sort of a mix of both. It's more like a Bayonetta kind of thing, I believe. Okay. It's supposed to be really good. So, yeah, that's a, that's a big get for uh, Microsoft there for Game Pass. And this. Worth, me, worth me having a look for, for free. Yeah, why not? Might as well. Okay. Well, it cost me anything. <laughs> there you go. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I can't remember when the last time we did a podcast was. Now I don't think it was last week, but it was last week when the Nintendo conference was? We we'll say conference. Oh yeah. When their forty <laughs> minutes of talking was Nintendo thing. Yeah, I think we talked about that, didn't we? No. I mean, yeah, let's bring up the news. Nothing hugely amazing announced. No. Um. Uh, I'm still not over Plus Expansion Pack, to be quite honest. <laughs> plus Expansion Pack, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. <laughs> Just call it Nintendo Switch Online and increase the price whatever to whatever you're going to do it as. Yeah. <laughs> plus Expansion Pack. Uh, here we go. So we've got a new game, new Kirby game, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Looks fine. It's all right. Yeah, Kirby. Can't go on Kirby. I think this, yeah. this is his first 3D game because all of them have been 2D. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it looks alright. It'll be fun. I like yeah, it. It looks, it looks fine, to be honest. I mean, sort of like The Last of Us with a big purple ball. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good description. They put, put that on yeah. the back of the box. Yeah, I hope they do as well. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch's Last of Us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Games of Grass podcast. <laughs> That'd be great. I'll play that. That would be cool, yeah. Do it. Nintendo won't do that. No, of course not. Uh, they, they, they would definitely hate us. Absolutely, yeah. We get sued or something. Um, okay, that's that's very Nintendo. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, they, they said said our, the... they said our name. <laughs> yeah, to the delete them to the courts. <laughs> get, Phoenix, get Phoenix right on the case. <laughs> yeah, objection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that. Uh, cool. So yes, you talked about just now expansion pass coming, uh, bringing new content, including Nintendo sixty four games and Sega Genesis games, Sega Mega Drive games, if you're correct, like us. Yeah, like if you're normal like we are. Yeah, like normal, yeah. Uh, so yeah, they've got uh, Zelda, Mario 64, Star Fox 64, um, and other stuff. And we've got Sonic, Sonic 2, Record Open, Golden Axe, etc. And also you Stop get... Care of the Dolphin, man. I don't know why they keep <laughs> putting that game on, on things. It's terrible. It's not great, yeah. Even for the time, it wasn't great. But there, yeah. are, people, there are people who love those games for whatever reason. Probably because they can afford any good. <laughs> probably because they can afford any good games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's cool though. I mean, they're also bringing out like special controllers for them. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I've announced a uh, Nintendo sixty four and a uh, Mega Drive controller. It looks very cool. Wireless, of course. Yeah, that's awesome. The, the big thing for me is uh, the the N sixty four games that I would want to play can't be part of the collection. Yeah, like Golden Eye and the wrestling games. The, the, yeah, the wrestling games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame. It sucks. It's not, and yeah, I would, you know, I would happily take virtual pro wrestling from the N64, which is basically WrestleMania 2000, but with Japanese wrestlers. But oh. they won't do that either. Probably not. No, they won't do any of it because, hey, Nintendo fucking hates us. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, you know what spending... you liked on the N64, like GoldenEye and the, re- the re- them wrestling games that everyone talks about always? Yeah, no, you can't have them. Here's Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo doesn't like spending money. Um, and they don't have to. Yeah. And we'll give you yeah, the basic, basic stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still cool. If you've never played these games, anyone experienced them, is it a cool way to do it? Yeah. Oh, definitely, but, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just a real shame. Yeah. The Mega Drive stuff, it's been on about 100 collections already. I own, like, three different collections with them all on. <laughs> They're kind of pointless. Is there a rumoured price for this? Plus expansion um, pack. Not yet. Not that I've seen. Hmm. I haven't revealed it yet, so we'll see. So it's three pound fifty a month at the minute, or twenty yeah. quid a year, or whatever. So what are they going to do? Double it? Maybe. 
Yeah, maybe like down to, down to five, up to a fiver, maybe almost double it to like. That's still what, okay, isn't seven it? Quid? It's still yeah. acceptable. It's all right. Yeah, could be worse. Yeah, it could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> um. So that's that. We've got we've got the cast of the Mario movie. It's been announced. Oh, Jesus wept. I can't is, believe uh, this. A bit shocking. <laughs> Not what people were expecting. So we have, of all people, Chris Pratt playing Mario, a Jay Star Lord yeah. from the uh, Gaunt of Galaxy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, to be honest, I can't believe any of these people are in Mario. <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, we have Anna Taylor Joy as Peach, uh, mm-hmm. Charlie Day as Luigi, which I do like. I think he'd make a good Luigi. Um, we have Jack Black as Bowser, who I quite like as well. <laughs> um, which means Bowser's going to be funny in some way. He, yeah, I think I think this sort of sets the tone. When you see Jack Black as Bowser, it's sort of see, okay, it's going to be this kind of movie. Okay, I get it. Uh, we have like guys like Keegan Michael Key as, as Toad. <laughs> He's going to sound like Toad. That'd be funny. Um, and the guy like Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. And we've got yeah, Charles I'm, Martin. I'm, I can I can get on board with that. Yeah, that's cool. We've got we've got Charles Martin who's going to be in there as various cameo roles. He was obviously the voice of Mario. Yeah. Uh, for these years in games. So at least he's in it. At least he's there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it would be wrong to probably probably not have him in there. Yeah. So that's that. It's going to be an interesting movie. I can look forward to seeing like an actual trailer or something. But it's made by Illumination. They did uh, Despicable Me and the Minions movie, so it's not going to be a bad movie. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. What else have we got? Oh, we finally saw some Bayonetta three. Uh, Bayona? <laughs> Bayonetta three. You said exists. <laughs> I said Bayonetta. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Maybe uh, that's three. Uh, <laughs> we got a trailer. We saw some gameplay finally. It looks great. It looks like, looks like Bayonetta. It looks like Bayonetta, yeah. I can't wait. Good stuff. How badly does it suck that it's only on Switch, by the way? Because it's, think it's of how good it could look. <laughs> it looked amazing on PS5. I want that so I bad. Know. Oh my god, it looks so good. Uh, but nope. <laughs> just on Switch. Nope. <laughs> Here it is. Nintendo has it's that now. 1080p glory. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is like, nope, it's ours now. You can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a PS3 game. Enjoy. Yep. Have fun. <laughs> Play it on our new OLED screen. Yeah. That's still 1080, <laughs> kicking out 1080p on, um, <laughs> yeah. on your TV. Uh, good times. Yeah. Cheers, Nintendo. <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, a game I know you don't care about, where Jocobo GP is a Final Fantasy kart racer. Yeah, I thought uh, this was so weird. It's a very weird one to start off with, for sure. Uh, so Jocobo Racing was a game on PS1, mm-hmm. which was uh, under the radar. Uh, not a lot of people bought it. I had it growing up. I was gonna. I looked it up on eBay to see if I can add this to my collection now. Uh, there's one copy on there. It was three hundred pounds. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I passed on that one. It was good, but not that good. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm surprised we got a sequel at all, to be honest with you. But it looks cute. It looks like a kart racer. I'll probably play it. It's Final Fantasy. Why not? It looks like a very capable kart racer as well. I just thought it was extremely weird that um, it would even be a thing. Yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. I'm cool with it. It's got some like classic couch in there. It looks cute. There you go. Yeah. There's definitely a fan base for it. Yeah, definitely. People who grew up with it, like me. Yeah, and Final Fantasy nerds. Also like me. Mm. <laughs> uh, what else? Anything else big? Uh, Castlevania Advance. Talked about Castlevania just now. Uh, that's mm-hmm. coming out. All the GBA games coming out on Switch. Yep. Very cool. I'm okay with that. It's out now, isn't it? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, it is. I think it came cool. out that day. Actually, I think it did. Actually, I think it said available now on Nintendo Switch. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> available <laughs> now on Nintendo Switch Online plus yeah. expansion pack. <laughs> They can't go with that name forever. Oh, bloody bunch of Oh, they will. That's a very Nintendo thing. <laughs> Come on, do you, do, you, uh, do you subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack? <laughs> well, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, so you don't have to do N64 games? Yeah, I have. So it's Plus expansion pack. <laughs> uh, do I have to say that every time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Nintendo. Very Nintendo. Um, I think that's about it really uh, Animal Crossing is going to have a direct coming soon yep an announcement is, for an announcement yep same thing with Smash Brothers the final character is going to get announced Thank uh, you know what thank god because I don't need to see it anymore <laughs> yeah this is the last character now it's after this that'll be it who is it uh, it's rumoured to be Sora from Kingdom Hearts 
Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, that made sense. I'll be okay with ball that. Crash. Yeah, ball crash. <laughs> or this, yeah, this, all this, the, this is sad. All the, all the characters Disney. that are on that game and just get, <laughs> ball crash can't get a look in. Yeah, you, you see the like, line of characters and you see crash in the background looking like a sad look on his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for Kingdom Hearts would be pretty cool though. Yeah, that'd be very cool. Um, yeah, I wonder if they got any Disney stuff in there. That'd be interesting. Like bring Donald as like a special like finish or whatever. Yeah, Donald and Goofy, that'd be cool. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Um, yes, yeah, so that's all the big, the big, big stuff coming out of that. There's a card game from Square Enix, which looks interesting. If you mean, yep. <laughs> yep. if you mean, not, not if you're Sunny or Steve. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's about it. The, the, any, any interesting direct? Nothing super special, but a few good things in there. I just thought it was really funny. I just, I, yeah. I watch these <laughs> Nintendo directs and they just crack me up. I don't even know why. I just watch them and I'm like, what the fuck? What, what, what is even going on? I think it's because people always have go in having such high expectations that they couldn't even possibly reach. This is like so it's I, really I really wanted to be made laugh, and I, it succeeds every time <laughs> because it's in just no order at all. <laughs> yep. Now, now have a look at this. In terms of one random thing to the next, here's yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy Racing. Here's some card game. Here's Mario. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like sports. Here's golf, and you know it's just so <laughs> random and weird. But hey, look, that's Nintendo's charm. They just do whatever they want to do, plus expansion pack. So <laughs> plus expansion pack, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. All right. So yeah, that's that. So how about it's the first podcast of the month? So how about we go into the games of the month for October twenty twenty one? Yeah. Let's Can't wait to what garbage is coming out this month. Um yeah. So we don't have the normal website, unfortunately, because it currently isn't working for whatever reason. Boo. But we we'll do have a list here which I'll read out. Um, so let's have a look. It's a courtesy of gamesradar.com. So if there's anything missing, blame them. Yep. So on the the first tomorrow, as of recording this, FIFA 22 coming out on everything. Yep. Calculators the works. Calculators. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Watch watches. Yep. Those little little handheld uh, tiger games. Yeah. Oh god, remember them? <laughs> yeah. And times. I, like Sonic I had a really it. good, I had a really good WWF one. It was like oh, really? blue. Yeah, nice. it was like it was quite bulky actually. It wasn't like a standard. Uh, I don't even know if it was made by Tiger actually, but it was the same sort of thing. Yeah, um, it was really really cool. I saw one. Um, in fact, Chris Royals, uh, who does listen to this podcast, what's happening, Chris? Okay. Um, he he does have it. Wow, uh, awesome. it really took me. It took me. Uh, it took it took me back. Take way back. Yeah, it was cool. Them games, man. That was so. I had a Bucky O'Hare one. Remember Bucky O'Hare? Oh god, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I had a Sonic one. I think a couple of others have come up there, are they? Yeah. Fun times. Yeah, good times. <laughs> so yeah, that's Beeper. That's coming soon. Good stuff. We have uh, Alan Wake Remastered coming out on the 5th. That's coming out cool. on everything as well. Yeah. Very cool. Um, well, that, that's a great game. Great story. Um, looking forward to... Um, there's people that obviously didn't have Xboxes and were PlayStation people that haven't played Alan Wake... And I think you're in for a real treat. Obviously, expect it to be um, sort of control like an older game because yeah, it is now. A, yeah, it was a it, 360 game. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's a really cool story. Really great character. I cannot believe even now that it didn't get a proper sequel. Yeah, mad, isn't it? I mean, there, there must be one coming. I think I think there is one coming. But um, yeah, I think after um, all this time, I just can't believe that it it didn't get a sequel already. Yeah, I think the control of the OC kind of kind of hints towards a new a new game yeah. in the series, which is cool. Which is cool. So you've got the um, the Alan Wake is it American Nightmare? Is that what it's called? Like yeah, Nightmare? yeah. <laughs> Alan Wake, Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> um, they replaced yeah. Alan Wake with Cody Rhodes' face. <laughs> oh God. No thanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's also got a game called Give That Shit Tattoo on His Neck as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then, same day, we have a game called BPM Bullets Per Minute, which has been on PC for a while. Uh, it is a rhythm action FPS roguelike where you must Jesus. shoot, <laughs> where you must shoot, jump, and dodge the beats of an epic rock, epic rock soundtrack. It sounds awesome. It does sound awesome. Yeah. I saw a trailer for it earlier. It's so so cool. Uh, and stop what's that coming out? Is that coming out on everything? Is it? Uh, it's out on PC already. It's coming out on PS4 and Xbox One. Okay. 
Yeah, if you want to find your trailer, normally I'll be able to do it straight from here, but without the rubs I usually use, it's difficult. Bear with me. That looks awesome. That does look pretty cool. Very, very cool. I'll buy that. Wow, okay. Yeah, that looks really cool. <laughs> Bullets per minute. Yeah. Cool. Uh, on the same day again, we have a game called Hell Let Loose on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Hell Let Loose. Oh, that's that one that's coming on PS5. PS Plus. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, of course it is, yeah. Cool. we talked about earlier on. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So that's coming. Uh, we have a game called Jet the Far Shore on PC, PS5 and PS4. Ooh. Which is a game that exists. I think it's an indie game. Uh, we have a game called uh, Rainbow Billy, The Curse of the Leviathan. <laughs> on everything, yep. Very cool game. Um, Rainbow name. Billy. Yeah, I feel like I've heard that name before. I feel like it's like a sequel to something. Oh, no. Oh, it's a 2D, 2.5D adventure pl puzzle platformer with RPG elements. It looks cute. Of course. Of course. Of course. Everything is uh, RPG. I feel like every, every game has got a bit of something else in there as well now. It's <laughs> not just one thing anymore. It's always like, oh, this is a football game, but also, if you want, you can use a golf club. <laughs> yeah, with vocal-like elements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. It's a game I'm looking forward to. Uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania on literally everything. PC, PS5, Xbox X, PS4, Xbox One, Switch. <sighs> Bloody hell. Are you actually yeah. looking forward to that? Yeah. First two games. I love the first two games back on GameCube. Um, anyway, we, we've got the first two games, so why not? Yeah, cool. I'll leave to Monkey Ball. There we go. And Bananas. I mean, honest. <laughs> um, on October 6th, we have uh, Art of Rally, which looks very pretty. On it's PS5 and PS4. Um, I've played it on Xbox. It's already out on Xbox. But uh, yeah, it's really good. It's um, sort of like a, not fully top down, but it um, it's sort of, it's like three quarter top down. Yeah. If you understand what, that, if you understand what I mean by that. I think it's so. not like micro machines. It's like, you know, I know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's like tilted down slightly. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, like tilted. And um, it's really good. It's pretty cool, cool uh, soundtrack. Uh, worth a look, even if you're not if sort of big into driving games. It's uh, it's good. Yeah, I think it's on PC as well. I have to keep it a download. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. So bonus. Cool. Uh, we have Far Cry Six coming out on October seventh. For once again, everything including Stadia. Um, <laughs> it's a Ubisoft game, so it's going to be a big open world map with collectibles everywhere, uh, tower tower stations to look at, enemy bases to take over. And attacks on multiplayer, which nobody asked for. Yep. Ubisoft. If you've ever played a Ubisoft <laughs> game, there you go. Yep. Assassin's Creed guns. Yep. Uh, <laughs> with a different, with a different cool-looking bad guy. Every time. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, that's, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm kind of over this kind of stuff. Yeah, now. it'll be good. I'm sure. I'm. 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 To be honest, I'm not really interested. I've not followed its progress at all. It looks like Far Cry. Yeah, I like Far Cry three and four. I like a lot. Kind of dropped off a of five, and they start to don't care anymore. All Ubisoft games kind of blend together now at this point. Yep, they are pretty <laughs> much all the same. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, what else we got? Got a game called The Lightbringer on PC and Switch coming out on okay. the seventh. Um, oh, we've got there's a Lego Marvel Superheroes coming out once again on Switch this time. Oh, the first one. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Oh, cool. Okay, that's a really good game. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a Lego game. Wait, that's not already time. on Switch? In fact, no, that was a very early... In fact, that was like a, a launch PS4 game. Yeah, very old. The first one's really good as well. It's better than... The, it's, to be honest, that's probably my favourite. Apart from Lego Jurassic World, that's my favourite Lego game. Very cool. Oh, yeah, it came out on PS3 and 360 as well. Yeah, wow. The PS3, 360, Wii U, PS4, Xbox One. Wow. Old school. I like it. Yeah, good game. Awesome. Uh, then we have the same day... Uh, Metroid Dread, finally. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's I'm looking forward to, obviously. Some big games this month. Yeah, big, big games. Some um, shit, yeah, too. And a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Metroid Dread, Metroid 5. 5, yeah. Um, and yeah, can't wait. Metroid is good. I love it. Cool. Yeah, it looks great. A lot of people excited for it. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, on the same day as well, the uh, Switch OLED com comes out. Oh, Metal's. okay. Yeah, but no one's that. Not so way you would. <laughs> yeah doesn't literally if you play on the TV there's no point in you buying this exactly yeah there's literally no point does nothing at all all the all that's different is it's an OLED screen if you play handheld yeah 
Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with the screen it's got. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what the point is. No, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the screen. Yeah. Weird. Oh, well. Oh, well. If, Nintendo. Plus expansion Nintendo. pack. <laughs> Plus expansion pack, yep. Good stuff. Um, what else have we got? Oh, Back Blood, of course. We talked about yep. earlier. Looks PC, good. P- yep, PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and Game Pass. We Plus should be able to co-op pack. that between PC and Xbox, I'm guessing. Yeah, it should be able to, actually. That'd be cool. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. To try that. Um, what else? We got Disco Elysium, the final cut coming out on the Xbox finally and Switch. Yep, very cool. People love that game. People are big into it. Yeah, I want to play that at some point in the future, far, far future, probably. Once I've done, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> played everything else. <laughs> <laughs> A stack of games behind you says otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? A game called God Strike on PS4 and Xbox One. Sounds okay. interesting. God Strike. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, a new Jackbox. A Jackbox Barky, Barky? Barky Pack. Barky. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out and everything, obviously. What's that got on it? Um, good question. Let's, let me have a look. Jackbox Parky Pack. Barky Pack. We should definitely stream some more Jackbox stuff. Yeah, Maybe I love Jackbox. Can... Yeah, me too. I love Quiplash. I, 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 love, I just love Quiplash. Uh, oh, we've got uh, Drawful Animate. Uh, we've got Weapons Drawn. Uh, Pol- Polamine. Uh, the Wheel of Enormous Proportions. <laughs> and uh, Job Job. Let me okay. tell you what these games are. Let's have a look. Uh, job Job. A game where you use other people's words to answer interview questions. Funny and unique answers get votes, and the player with the most points in the end scores the job. Okay. Interesting. Or to wheel of enormous proportions. Uh, great name, behold, by the way. great name. Behold, an enormous experience awaits you. The wheel of enormous proportions is a hybrid game of trivia and chance, boasted by an immortal all-known wheel from a mountain top in the sky. You have to earn slices of the wheel's majestic face, playing, playing trivia before moving on to the spinning round, where enough lucky spinning can lead you to victory. Mm. Hmm. But they're all the same sort of uh, mini games. Yeah, draw they ball. are. It's always fun. But uh, they're great. We're always great collections. Really good stuff. Yeah, as well as I saw recently, sort of Jackbox, like, um, think, oh, what the hell's it called? Like Which want, what, pack was that? <laughs> I don't think it was in Jackbox, I think it's its own thing. Oh, okay. Wait, it's like one we had to draw, draw stuff. Ah, uh, what the hell's it called? I'll find out. I'll find out later. Okay. But it, looks, it looks really cool if I want to stream. Um, yeah. Cool. What else? What else? What else? Where's my list gone? There it is. Um, right, oh, we've got the Crisis Remastered trilogy. If you're into Crisis, is coming that out on this month everything. as well? Yeah, uh, yep, yeah, 15th. Right, okay. Crisis, a uh, good game series. Nothing super special, but decent. No. I mean, it must have a big enough fan base to warrant bringing out this collection. It's coming out on everything, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, right, everything. And the first game was known for being very uh, graphically good for its time. And uh, yeah. nobody's busy can run it. <laughs> so if you're busy can run Crisis, Crisis, then you knew that you had a good PC. <laughs> <laughs> and now your Switch can run it. Yeah, now he's switching on it, which is insane. Uh, what else? Uh, glorious 1080p. Yep, 1080p <laughs> crisis, love it. Uh, Dying Light Platinum Edition coming to Switch. Let's speak of the Switch. Oh, oh, right, okay. Is this... Oh, no, no. This is actually coming out on Switch. It's not that cloud bollocks. Um, I think so. Because Dying Light 2 is coming to the cloud, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is actually on... Yeah, actually on Switch. Probably one of them mm. things where you open the box and it's a download code because it's so massive <laughs> it can't fit on a cartridge. That wouldn't surprise me. That's um, pretty much that was Witcher 3, I think, wasn't it? it? did that. Yeah, loads of games do it. Like FIFA did it. Um, oh. Or at least there was a massive download once you did put the cartridge in. Same goes for NBA and WWE 2K15, which, by the way, was fucking... No, not 15, 18, which was 18, fucking yeah. awful. <laughs> okay. Worst uh. Switch game ever, that is. Terrible. Yeah, I looked it up after you talked about it last time. I looked it up on YouTube, and yeah, Jesus Christ! Oh my God, it's awful. People think two K nine, two K twenty is bad. That's probably worse. That's way worse. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what else? Oh, a game called YouTube is Life Two. I'm disappointed they didn't contact us about that. To be honest, me too. Yeah. They could have, at least they could have then reached out to us. They could have said, you know. Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> we we just do this. We just sit. Yeah. We talk about games. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> put a put a, a semi cohesive podcast together. <laughs> yeah, semi cohesive. Um, oh yeah, but so Resident Evil Four VR comes out on Oculus VR. 
Oh yeah, okay. The twenty first, that is cool. Hopefully that comes Leon to Leon in VR. Leon. Hopefully that'll come to PS5 VR when that comes out. Because this looks really fun. I love Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is great. I'm waiting for that remastered Resident Evil 4. Did you see mm. the other day that um, Resident Evil 3 was rated for PS5 and Xbox Series X? Oh, yeah, I did actually, yeah. Like an updated version of the remake that came out. I don't know how true it is or if it even if it does really exist. But That'd be cool. Um, yeah, I've got, it on, I've got it on Xbox, so if there's going to be an upgrade for it, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, because there's uh, some people uh, complaining that there was stuff cut out from the original game that wasn't in a remake. So maybe yeah, they can I'm just, just having a in. quick look now. Resident Evil 3 remake. There's another one on my infinite backlog. I enjoyed it, but only simply because it was um, like more action-y. Yeah, no, I'm sure I love it. I might around to it. I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play Resident Evil Village Resident at some point. This Evil month. Three remake, remake? Question mark. Remake, remake. <laughs> remake, uh, remake. PS Five. Uh, uh, I mean, there's nothing official, but I mean, you can play it on PS Five anyway. But um, yeah, I saw it, but I don't know how true it is. It was called like. Um, Nemesis Edition or something like that. Um, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Edition or something. Hmm, interesting. Very cool. Uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, Fatal Frame Main the Blackwater, originally a Wii U game, now coming out on everything else, so people might oh. play it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that people didn't buy the Wii U? And uh, Not very many, yeah, apparently so. Yeah. I had one. I still have one down there. <laughs> I, I'd go. I, it's underrated. Yeah, it's a, it's a good little console. For what it is. It's got the Zelda remakes, HD remakes on it. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. We have uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes. The next game in that series, which isn't great. <laughs> Them games suck. You yeah. know what? Until Dawn, absolutely rips. But. These Dark Pictures Anthology ones, oh my god. Oh my god. Man from yeah. Medan has the most annoying cast of characters. It's a, you know what, you, you're supposed to want to keep these people alive, you want these motherfuckers dead in about <laughs> five minutes. Yeah, I, watched, uh, well, I started to watch a gameplay of it from some guys, and yeah, it's just like, I want these people to die. <laughs> they're just, they're just <laughs> the irritating, worst. annoying twats, like, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh who knows? Maybe they learned less and they made something good this time, but probably not. <laughs> Let's face it. I would imagine they they fall in line with each other. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. Um, anything else big? Oh yeah, Mario Party Superstars. Superstars. Oh yeah. Coming out on Switch. This looks awesome. Yeah. A bunch of classic mini games and boards coming to uh, a new game. Yeah, that'll be really cool. cool. I love Mario Party. Me too. We should play that. Another one. We should. You play it online. Yeah, play it online. My future stream, potentially. Definitely, yeah. Absolutely. We are going to get back into streaming. I've actually ordered a PS5 camera, so... Yeah. Awesome. Uh, when that rolls up, I'm going to sort of start doing, I don't know, maybe like a weekly stream. Yeah, that'd be cool. And we'll just go from there. Yeah. Try and keep the up... channel a bit more active. Try and, you know, play some of these games that we've got. Give us a reason to. Yeah. I'll throw in some multiplayer stuff in there, some co-op stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Trackbox stuff. Be cool. I now want to play the overcooked PS5 version now that cause it was oh, on yeah. PlayStation Plus, wasn't it? So, yeah, we should have played that. Cool. Um, so yeah, I think that is about it for the biggest games this month. Unless you can think of something. Uh, when's Call of Duty out? Is that November? Um, Call of Duty and God, yes, November fifth. Right. Okay. Uh, what's the biggest game of the month for you? Um. Oh man, it's a few big ones. Uh, Far Cry 6 and the, I guess Far Cry 6 would be big for some people like the majority of people for me uh, for you personally so Monkey Ball <laughs> maybe not not Metroid um, yeah Metroid obviously <laughs> yeah uh, FIFA for me but um, that's you know I've already got it anyway but <laughs> the yeah. Ultimate Edition came out last week cool very cool uh, but yeah Metroid for me Metroid Dread can't wait yeah FIFA for me but some good games coming out this month yeah. Go check out Alan Wick. Uh, Alan, Alan Wick. Alan Wick. John Wick and Alan Wake all in one. <laughs> Go check out Alan Wake if you haven't already. Yeah, John Wake. John Wake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
John cool. John Wake, uh, Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Cody Rhodes Edition DLC. Yeah, Tattoo Edition. <laughs> Shit Tattoo Edition. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so that's that. Cool. Right. So yeah, some good stuff coming out this month. Um, yeah, plenty to. Probably something for everybody there. Yeah. Big month. What's the yeah. games? All the games. <laughs> All the games that you'll buy and never play. Yes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> including uh, Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack. Yeah. Play Spence Pass. If you want to go yeah. play Sonic 1 and 2 for the uh, 780th time, then uh, Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack has got you covered. Yeah. And then you can play Auto Play Egg the Dolphin on Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack. There you go. I thought I thought you were going uh, <laughs> to. I thought I thought you were going to miss it out then for some reason. Of course not. You can't miss out. They turn it online. Plus expansion pack. No, not at all. <laughs> um, right. Let's talk wrestling. Let's. Um, oh, extreme rules happened. It did. It was good. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. I thought. Yeah. Decent. Um, yeah. Not bad at all. Uh, look what's scrolling on the bottom of the screen right now. Oh, I missed it. Hold on. Well, very nice. Plus expansion pack. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> Games of Graphs plus expansion pack. Yep. <laughs> I can't get over it. It sent me. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, it is funny. So Nintendo. But I'm just going to have that <laughs> scrolling on the bottom of the screen for the rest of this podcast. Cool. Sounds good. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so Extreme Rules happened. Um, thanks to everybody who tuned in to the live stream on Sunday night. It was really good fun, good interacting with everybody again. Uh, we covered all sorts of stuff, actually. We didn't, we took us ages to even slightly mention Extreme Rules. <laughs> we said that, that it was the pre show before the pre show for it. And then it took us about 45 minutes to actually get to it. <laughs> that's right. That's how it's normally go. That's yeah, we, but we love, we love the live streams. We love you guys coming along and chatting with us and having a good time. And we're just glad that you enjoy the streams that much yeah. that you just keep coming back and spending your time with us. Exactly. That's what the people like. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Extreme Rules, very cool. It's a good match, I thought, on there. Yeah, there was some good matches. I think, you know, the weakest part of it was probably the the end of the main event. Uh, yeah, I didn't hate it as much as some people. Um, I do think the ring very breaking was pretty stupid. It's like, why happen, Why give this man superpowers? I need to have him, like, jump over the ropes and get beaten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not that much of a superpower, is it? Where you just fall off the ropes and that's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. That was weird. Um, but the match itself was good up to that point. Yeah. It was always going to be. You know, you put two talents of that caliber in, you know, the ring together. Finn Balor's always great. Uh, Roman yeah. Reigns is, you know, has been... Uh, one of, if not the best, you know, in the business over the last fifteen months. Yeah. Ish. So yeah, it was always going to be good. I mean, the, the pay per view itself, I, I did think was actually very good. Yeah, for a WWE too. pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah, very true. Um, so yeah. I'm being harsh on WWE pay-per-views. There, they're usually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, which Sasha Banks returning again? Yep. Did he keep disappearing and coming back? <laughs> yeah, it's time. weird, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, yeah, to beat up Becky Lynch and Bank Better, which is cool, which is fine. Yeah. Well, it's not good. Yeah. I've rather, I've rather done it after the match instead of during it, but whatever. Yeah. It sets up, it sets up a triple threat, so yeah. whatever. It does, but the thing is, right, I don't know why they do this right before the draft. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> it's a good point, actually. I didn't think of that. Forgot about the draft. Just sort of don't, don't do it. Just, yeah. just wait until after the draft. Bring people back during the draft or on the one of the shows because they're, they're big shows. The draft ones because obviously well, yeah. you know they starts on SmackDown on or well, tomorrow and then the the next ones on Raw. They're always sort of big shows. There's people from different brands on the shows and whatever. Mm. So why not just bring people back then? It's like the end of Raw this week confused me. Why um, when Big E won the cage match, then they had Drew McIntyre come out and point oh, his yeah. sword at him. <laughs> yeah, not his pork sword, his, his actual steel short sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it doesn't mean they're not going to switch, isn't it? Well, it does seem that way, doesn't it? But... Unless, unless they just have to match on more and then move them after that. Who knows? No, oh, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe next week we get McIntyre versus Big E and then McIntyre in the same night is drafted to SmackDown. Yeah, that'd work. Who knows? 
Who knows? But yeah, you know what? It was a good card. So we had the New Day. New Day. Um, they, uh, and yeah, so all of New Day. Mm-hmm. Um, defeated Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, and Omos. Yep, good match. Uh, Usos defeated the Street Profits. Good, good match. match. Very good match. Very cool. Charlotte Flair defeated A. Bliss. Can't say her name because it was set a device up in my house. <laughs> was, um, I, it, it, I think they're getting rid of Alexa's um, gimmick now, which is a shame because like you just started to get over. People are starting to cheer it, and now they're scrapping it. <laughs> I think they've I think they've run into a ditch with it. Yeah, like, just run into a brick wall. They're sort of. Um, I think without the fiend, it doesn't. You know, no one really gives a shit. Yeah. It, yeah, it's strange. People were like cheering for Alexa, but yeah, it's there's not much nowhere they can go from there. From here, it is there. No, I mean, you, you know, you have a lose, and that's pretty much kills it. Yeah. So, uh, Damien Priest beat Jeff Hardy and Sheamus to retain the United States Championship. Mm-hmm. Cool. Highlight of this match. Highlight of this match was uh, Sheamus on top rope doing the Jeff Hardy pose. Yeah. <laughs> I like Sheamus a lot, man. He's had a great couple of years, well, a year or so. Yeah, me too. I like him a lot. Um, guys, broke his nose twice in the past few weeks and he's still going. Fair yeah. play to him. <laughs> Big fan of uh, Damien Priest as well. Demo, 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 Demo. Demo, 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 Demo. And um, Damien Priest and Sheamus had a brilliant match on Raw this week. Uh, did they did, actually. Yeah, really good. I missed the Demo Demos. I was talking. He did. It was very quiet. I don't know why it's so quiet. Oh, I'll do it play again. Demo, demo. Uh, but they, yeah, on Raw, they had that match and they beat the living crap out of each other. It was awesome. Yeah, very cool. Uh, Becky beat Bianca Belair. Uh, well, actually, it was a no contest. Yeah. Um, and then obviously Sasha Banks came out. Ooh. And Roman Reigns won because Finn Balor can't stand straight on the top rope. <laughs> yeah. Despite having superpowers. Yeah, despite being immortal, apparently. So he gets yep. up. Music starts playing for some reason. <laughs> and he falls over himself. Yep, starts flopping around like magic carp. <laughs> God, that was funny. <laughs> and um yeah, craziness. Gob, gob, gob. <laughs> gob, gob. Fin, 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 fin. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, that was extreme rules, but um the biggest talking point for me for WWE this week is the fact that Raw was actually quite good. Yeah, I know, right? What what alternate universe are we living in right now? I know. Like just really good matches, like Big E versus Lashley at the beginning was good. Yeah. Despite it breaking down and becoming a no contest and being re- remade for later on. But the main event was good as well. Yeah. Good chemistry between those two. Big, sweaty men, um, you know, having slapping their meat together, like Big E says. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. really cool. Enjoyed both of those matches. Um, and the Hurt Business being back is excellent. Very happy about yeah, that. that's cool. I think they've heard us, because we mentioned before there's not enough tag teams. Now they've brought these guys back. I also had last week we had Angel Garza and um, Dale, Humberto Gorillo. <laughs> Dale tank. Gas, yeah. <laughs> um, who's, who's, I really liked. They had a really great match together, had good chemistry. So I hope that continues on uh, to be a thing because, you know, more tag teams is always a good thing. And yeah. it gives them both they, 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 They're both really, really good. I'm pretty certain they listen to this podcast. Of course they do, yeah. Makes sense. Because things, <laughs> things happen when we talk about them on here. Yeah. <laughs> So it's cool that the yeah it's cool that the hair business is back. I like the idea of uh, Humberto and Angel Garza. It will probably help Humberto Carrillo get a little bit more of a personality being part of that team as well. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, him being a heel will definitely help. Um, yeah, ex- expose that you know use the fact that they're two good looking dudes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They can just be arrogant heel tag team, and I'm fine with that because it's not yeah. like two randomers thrown together. No, you've exactly. gone away and actually thought about it instead of just going, <laughs> "Oh, uh, Randy Orton, you're you're really good, and we need you on TV, but we don't know what to do with you at the minute." Um, here's Matt Riddle. Um, <laughs> you know, they they they've gone away. They've thought of a a reason to put them together and then just introduce them as a tag team. Yeah, good, good, very good. Happy for them both. Hope they hope they stick together for longer than a couple of weeks. Yep, look forward to them getting <laughs> split up in the draft. <laughs> yep, oh, God. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, Don't I'll be so pissed off. Yeah, me too. And you've got Ali and um, Mansoor as well, which seems yeah. to be working pretty well. Yeah, I like those guys. They're really good. Uh, matching gear. Yeah. So they're a tag team now. <laughs> this is, um, yeah, that's awesome. Um, oh, yeah, Keith Lee has a new name. Yeah, and I don't yeah. hate it. Bearcat. Yeah, it's all right. 
Well, it's, okay. it's paying homage to, um, you know, the if I'm getting this right, and I want to because I don't want to be disrespectful, it's the first African-American world heavyweight champion. Oh, I see. Um, let me just... So, Bearcat Wright. Oh. That's good. Let me just, let me just get this right. Here we go. Um, ba 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 Despite racial tension in the United States, he became widely, widely popular as a babyface uh, wrestling in either singles or singles competition or in tag. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Championships and accomplishments. Either way, yeah, he was <laughs> he was a he's actually in the WWE Hall of Fame as well. But oh, um, cool. yeah, he, it's basically named after Bearcat Wright. So um, I don't dislike it for that reason i think it's um it's cool i liked his new gear and he looks like he's turning heel i mean he beat the living shit out of akira tazara for whatever reason <laughs> yeah yeah but no, yeah we'll ever get him on tv i'm happy with it same yeah cool yeah so that's really that cool uh, um, what else was good oh aj styles and so we've ju- we talked about damien Priest oh, yeah. and sheamus having a banger of a match really good stuff really beat the crap out of each other uh some great spots. There was a really cool. Um, uh, Seamus did the, like the white noise off the apron through a table, which was great. Ooh, yeah, I like it hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah, they kicked the crap out of each other with the kendo stick. That was great. It was just really good, really physical. Um, a, a, the style of TV match you don't really see. Yeah. On yeah, like a pay per view match almost, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it was really really good. So uh, if you've not seen it, go check that out. I recommend that match. Um, Matt Riddle and AJ Styles had a really good match. Um, mm. Really great TV match, actually. Great chemistry between those two. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that I actually enjoyed. It was cool to see Dewdrop getting a chance at the title, even though this thing with Eva Marie is still going on. Yeah. Uh, Viking Raiders were on, te- uh, were on TV. Yep, that was good. He, um, yeah, it's him against um, Angel Carter, wasn't it? Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, who else... Uh, did I think about this week? Oh, in Mansoor's match, it was um, the two dudes that are with uh, Jinder Mahal, who I really like as well. Yeah, Beer, they've got Beer potential Sh- to be a great tag team. Yeah, Beer, Beer and Shanky. Shanky. Yeah, yeah, they, they could be. They could be a great tag team. Yeah, they could be. Look I feel like you could. I feel like you could really open the tag division up once you take the belts off. Um, RK Bro. Bro. Yeah, I think they're going to get split up. Those two. That's my prediction for the draft. Yeah, I don't want to get split think- up. I like him as a team, but. I don't know. It's I would I, I would rather see a, a normal tag division. Yeah, me too. Because every other team at the minute are pretty normal, which is surprising. <laughs> yeah. I saw teams. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Thanks for listening to us, dude. We re- we really appreciate that you take the time <laughs> to listen to this podcast and steal our ideas without paying us any money. Yeah, cheers, Vince. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're um, welcome. I think I didn't like uh, poor Karrion Gross still wearing that stupid helmet. You me. know what? I don't hate it as much as I initially did. No? Because I thought his promo beforehand was good. Yeah, that's a promo. And I don't I don't hate the, the attire any, as much anymore. I'm just sort of, okay, this is this is what's happening. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> otherwise, he's just a bold guy with a True. goatee. It's a, it's a helmet that does it for me. It just, it just looks like the motor pound land. I thought... Uh, he needs a helmet for him to get whatever's cheap. Yeah, he, he looks like the Sultan <laughs> that Rikishi used to play back in the day. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, I don't hate it as much as I did do. And I think his promos are coming across really well. Let him talk more. Yeah. Bring back the Scarlet already. Come on. Yeah, instantly that would make that would propel him um, to bigger things if, if Scarlet was with him. Yeah. Also, they're, they're engaged now. Yay. Congratulations. Congrats. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Um, also, why is Jackson Riker still on TV? Not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure he's still got a job, to be quite honest. They tried yeah. to make him a face, and that fucked up so quick and <laughs> fizzled out, like, insanely quick. And, um, yeah. And now it's a job at two, uh, Gary Cross. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be gone soon. Probably, yeah. Oh, they released Danny Birch today, I think I saw. Oh, did they? Oh, that sucks. I like Danny. Yeah, I like Danny Birch as well. Yeah. Oh, well, I can't do that to Bryce. But no, I can't either, especially sort of with the, the new sort of a young person initiative they're going with with NXT at the minute. Um, yeah. 
I'm not sure that um, him and only Larkin would get over as much on, on Raw or SmackDown. I mean, you don't know if you don't try, but they didn't try, so... Yeah, shame. I mean, seemingly, it's just Pete Dunne and Ridge Holland now, so... Yeah, and he was on this week, but he was on his own. Oh, and he was? Okay. Yeah. I can't what he was doing. He was on, he was on like, a singles match. Okay. I don't think he lost. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, on Raw, yeah, the main event was good as well. Big E against Lashley again. That's when Drew McIntyre came out and confused me because I don't know what's going to happen. We've got a draft show on Friday, draft show next Monday, and um, they're still making storylines. Yeah. Just leave uh... storylines until after. Make them on the night. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, I've been drafted here and I want to go after your title. Storyline made. Exactly. There you go. That's all you need. Yep, it doesn't need you, to be difficult. It doesn't don't need to overcomplicate it. Um, you but, have title. I want title. Right. Yeah, that is literally as simple as that. <laughs> but yeah, and then or you can have like a bunch of guys come out. I I want title. You also want title. Let's fight each other before, and then one who win go title. <laughs> yeah. That's how easy it is. Tag team match and player. Holla holla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You have title plus expansion pack. <laughs> we, <laughs> we want. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so it's not difficult, but they make it difficult. It is what it is. But Raw was definitely an improvement this week. Yes, much needed improvement. Well done. Yeah, for sure. So I'm looking forward to the draft stuff. Um, AEW looks good. You know, still looking great. Sammy Guevara won the uh, the TNT Championship this week for Miro. Yeah, I was the first I've done it so far. First year match oh, was great. Oh shit! Have I ruined that for you? No, no, no I've I've knew that already. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. But what's yeah? The first two matches. So Adam Cole versus Jungle Boy was excellent. And, Adam uh, Cole's yeah. the most over person in AEW. Uh, yeah, next to CM much. Punk. Yeah. Adam Cole, baby. I love great. the the entrance music. So sick as well. So good. It was number one in the metal charts on iTunes in America. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. Nice. Um, so Sammy Guevara is the TNT champion now and was challenged. And this was announced apparently during the commercial break mm. um, by Bobby Fish, who will be on Dynamite mm. taking on Sammy Guevara next week. Cool. Good for, good for Bobby Fish. I'm happy he is. Yeah, is me too. That's cool. Yeah. I don't know if he'll be a permanent fixture. I know he's doing some stuff for MLW as well. Mm. Uh, he's going to be in the Opera Cup, which starts uh, next couple of weeks. Um, but it's cool that he's he's doing stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Didn't wasn't that long ago, but he got released. So, obviously... Maybe just a 30-day no-compete? Yeah, I think at NXT, for the most part, it's 30-day. Oh, gosh, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, that's cool. Leo Rush came out of retirement to the surprise of nobody. And he's <laughs> now signed with uh, AEW. Nice. Good. Officially. Excellent. That's fine. You know, I, I like Leo Rush. I think he's a great talent. Yeah. Um, had some struggles with himself. Um, but, you know, he seemingly figured it all out and he's ready to sort of be back as a full-time wrestler and he's going to be part of AEW and that's great. Cool. It might be his main events with uh, Mark Henry. Mark Henry, not Henry. Um, yeah. So that's good. Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, AEW continues to go from, you know, from strength to strength. I mean, a hell of a week, you know, with, you know, last week with the Grand Slam stuff, it was just unbelievable, really. Uh, Omega versus Danielson was super special. Yeah, incredible. And then, obviously, Rampage. See, I'm putting back in pants again. Good. Yeah, good. <laughs> you have to be back. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, so like we didn't like the tights. Just go back to pants. Well, we didn't like the full tights. Go back to just pants, please. Mini tights, yeah. <laughs> mini, mini tights, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. so that's great. I mean, AW is just flourishing at the minute. It's so good. And it's the only wrestling show that I, you know, I'm really gravitating towards. But, um, you know, Raw was really good this week. So if Raw continues to be good, which it won't, but if it does, <laughs> which it won't, um, then uh, look, I'll keep watching it. But yeah. this week I wanted to watch it because it looks especially good. Cool. And NXT so, yeah. was decent this week as well. Um, um, the results here. Let's talk. Let's talk NXT. Yeah. Um. What do you think to everyone saying the word shit now? Uh, yeah, shit. It's pretty shitting great. Um, yeah. <laughs> is that what's edgy, it? by the way? I guess so. Yeah, AEW starts saying it. And now WWE is saying it. I think I think shit is a new bitch. Let's keep saying it. Shit is the new bitch. Yeah, because on <laughs> Raw they played the clip of Lashley saying shit. Yeah. Um, didn't Bullshit. blank it out. That was right at the very start of Raw. Yeah. 
So yeah, I think that's any favorite word. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I guess is what it is. <laughs> yeah, shit. Hashtag shit. Hashtag so shit. Seth Rollins tweet. So, uh, <laughs> I guess we can say shit on TV now. And just yeah. Hashtag shit. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> cool. <laughs> but NXT, you know, um, I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really starting to get behind a lot of these new guys. And I like the way that they're doing it. I like the way that they're being presented and the way they're being built up. Bron Breaker's an absolute superstar. There's no way that he doesn't take that belt off Champa. Uh, yeah, he's it's, it's great. It's big style in the making, for sure. Oh, God, yeah. Um, the name still sucks. Okay, there's no Terrible. there's no getting past that. The name's really, really bad still. But <laughs> um, he's a superstar. And, you know, he's being talked about a lot. And... Yeah, WWE really need to not drop the ball with it. Yeah. Keep doing what they're doing. He will take the belt off Champa, probably at whatever the first NXT 2.0 takeover will be. Yeah, will be. Yeah, go that. and that's fine. Um, Joe Gacy was back on TV again this week um, after sort of them sort of pulling his segment from all social media and stuff last week after. I don't know. I don't even know what the outcry is with anything anymore. But to yeah, me, people it just... came across as fine. But yeah. People I wasn't just looking for any days. sort of negativity from it. Yeah, people just overly offended. It's wrestling. It's not real. It's, yeah. uh, you know, it's a TV show. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a... a guy playing a character talking about cancel culture. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's supposed to be controversial. That's, that was the point. <laughs> That's the point of his character. Yeah. So it just but at means the end it's... of the day, it's, it's a character. Yeah, that just means the character works. If it's, you know, people are talking about him. That's good. <laughs> well, that's it, yeah. And they were right to keep him going and not to just pull him from TV or anything. Yeah. So they did the best thing by keeping him going, switching the promo up a little, hmm? but still having it, you know, a similar kind of tone. Yeah. No, I like it. I like the way this is going, I think. Yeah. Are you, are you starting to sort of get behind it a little bit more? Uh, NXT in general? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, that was done with the, you know, I, get, I'm, I think I was too harsh on it before, but I'm, I'm trying to. I'm giving him all the chance. These new guys a chance. But the thing is, I understand where you're coming from with it because, you know, we've obviously watched NXT grow from, um, you know, going back all that time and then all these new, you know, then people have sort of shunned out the way and, you know, new people have come in and been sort of, this is what NXT is now. Tough, you know? Yeah. It was um, very, so, it's very drastic and sudden change. Yes, it's it just was, like, yeah. Well, this is, this isn't the NXT I know. <laughs> this is something completely different. Um, yeah. But no, I'll give it the next couple of weeks and I'm, I'm starting to come around to the idea, idea about now. Yeah, I think, again, it's like with the thing with AEW, isn't it? You have to get used to who these people are and, you know, their, their characters and the, the fact that these are going to be the stars now. But it takes a while for you to, you know, you have to, you have to sort of build that, why should I care about these people? Yeah. You know, once you get, once you get past that, that's when you can really start getting into it, but. I went into it pretty open-minded, and I'm enjoying the build of the characters, and I'm enjoying seeing where it's going. Yeah, me too. Yeah. There's a good, some good um, cards with tag teams coming up on there. Uh, what's the main yeah. event was uh, by Carl Gonzalez versus Frankie Benet, yeah. Mrs. Morrison, um, which is a good match. Um, Raquel defended the title, and then Mandy Rose and the tag team Toxic Attraction, good name, mm-hmm. came out pretty well. Good name. Good name. So it looks like uh, Mandy Rhodes is going to be the next uh, contender, which I'm okay with. I yeah, like me too. This. Yeah, I like this new Mandy Rhodes. I like this new tag team. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was, I mean, I'm, I I did think Frankie Monet was, would actually win, but, you know, I think she could probably go to the main roster. Yeah. I see that. And fit the... in very, very easily. Yeah. Especially, you know, John Martin, his or her husband, Husband or boyfriend? I don't know. Um, they're, who, um, they're married, aren't they? Are they married? Yeah, I think they probably are. Yeah. But yeah, put them together, you know, in the same brand. Actually, they're happening for sure. They yeah, tend to do well, that with couples, don't they? Yeah, both on Smackdown. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. That'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. She's great. She's, you know, pretty much pre-made to be a, <laughs> a main roster yeah. star. Yeah, she, she? She's, she's ready-made and yeah. doesn't, need, doesn't need NXT, doesn't need developmental. No. So, yeah, cool. So, that's cool. Um... I, but, you know, in the same breath, I would like to see Raquel Gonzalez go to the main roster, which could still yeah. happen, I guess. NXT, you know, they, they do do this. where Well, the main roster do this, but they bring people up with the titles. Karrion Cross, for example. Mm. 
But yeah, I, I, I can see Mandy Rose being the new NXT Women's Champ. Me too, I think, and I'm cool with it. Yeah, I think her leading that faction with the title would be very cool. I think they'll win Tag Team Gold as well. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. I think they've been beating... Who are the Tag Team? Oh, but Io and um, Zoe Stark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Who successfully that. defended on NXT this week? But I can see, uh, I can see Toxic Attraction winning the uh, winning everything, being pretty dominant. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, nice. so NXT really picking up steam, starting to starting to do pretty well. Um, Raw was good this week. SmackDown will be a pretty good show this week, I would imagine. It's the draft. Before we do go, uh, a couple of draft predictions from yourself, please. Hmm. Um, so I do think Drew McIntyre moved to SmackDown in some way because mm-hmm. I think he's done pretty much all he can do at this point. Agreed. Um, I don't know. I think right with your Roman and Big E will stay where they are. You would have, yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I think the same with Charlotte and Becky. Um, maybe Nakamura and David Reese in choice places. Okay. Are you see that happening? Yeah, I can get on board with that. Um. I'm looking through the list of superstars now <laughs> on WWE.com. Um, man, I don't know. To be honest, no, there's nothing that really like jumps out at me other than like Drew McIntyre. Yeah, Drew McIntyre's the big one for me. I, I feel like he's the one out of everybody that needs that move more than anybody else. Mm. Maybe Lashley. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe. Yeah, I can see that because Lashley's been in, seemingly been in this feud now forever. But then again, that yeah. puts him back with Drew McIntyre and they're going to start feuding again. Not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd like to see Lashley and Roman feud. Uh, yeah. But, cool. you know, in the same breath, I would like to see Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns feud. Something different for the two of them would be great. Yeah. Um, I mean, Brock, do they, do they include him in the draft? Probably not. I think Brock's a special no. attraction, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Finn Balor, maybe, um, maybe go to Raw? Maybe. It's quite a difficult one to predict, I think, this year's draft. Yeah, it really I'm not, is. I'm not really 100% sure sort of where, where we go. I, I would imagine tag teams get switched around. Probably. Uh, that seems to happen a fair amount. Um, maybe Street Profits to Raw? Yeah. Um I don't know. It's it's a tough one, but I'm looking forward to it. I think this is hope. I'm really hoping this is the beginning of a much needed, um, actual proper shakeup for WWE. I hope so. It needs it. It desperately needs it, you know. And I hope that I mean, Raw Raw was very promising this week. Yeah, but I'm I'm thinking with the way the the Lashley stuff was, um the way that it almost seemed to conclude the Lashley and Big E stuff that we now go for maybe Lashley and the Hurt Business get switched over to SmackDown. Yeah, maybe. Go you know, down maybe to the back Bloodline versus the Hurt Business or whatever. I mean, that, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be very cool, actually. You know, um, yeah, that'd be really cool. I'd be, maybe be, but uh, yeah, switch Drew McIntyre as well. So switch them to... Then you take two big stars from SmackDown, not sure who, and put them on Raw. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of potential, but the main the most important thing is that it does get mixed up. Yeah, definitely needs it. It's starting to get stale now. Yeah, for sure, it is starting to get very very stale. But this week, promising signs for Raw at least heading in the right direction. Let's hope they can sort of build that momentum. They won't, of course, but let's hope they can. But of course, they won't. But we'll see. <laughs> We will see. Yeah. So the draft is tomorrow and Monday. And obviously we'll cover that on next week's podcast in full and break down what we thought, see if there's any surprise moves, any call-ups from NXT. Do you see any call-ups from NXT? Um, I mean, it's going to be a few. All right, well, maybe at least at least one or two. Uh, who are they going to be? I'm not sure. Maybe Austin Theory. He's been on main event. He's been on main roster before. He's been hanging about. Mm-hmm. Um, that sort of area. Um, who else was it? Zia Lee, I think it's been on main event. Right. Okay. Which kind of sucks because it takes it away from a awesome factions he's got going on. Yeah. Bring them all up. Yeah, bring them all up. Why the hell not? Um, but yeah, it's, it's Mojo and just and just gone back down there. Pete Dunn. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. La Knight. Gargano. Gargano. Yeah, maybe. La Knight. 
possibly. LA, LA Knight's got main roster written all over him. Yeah, for sure. So for me, LA Knight would be perfect on Raw or SmackDown. Yeah. Johnny Gargano, by the way, very funny on this week's NXT with the whole uh, honeymoon thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's a lot. You've got to keep some experience in NXT, but also I think it's time for some people to move up. Uh, Johnny Gargano is definitely one of them. LA Knight doesn't need to be in NXT, neither does Frankie Monet. I could see both transitioning to the main roster, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows indeed? But we'll know we'll soon see. enough. Hmm. Yeah. Soon. A couple more days. Soon. A couple more days. And then we'll talk about it next week. Yes. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to, to talk about while while we're here? Um, I think that's it, to be honest. You think that's it? Yeah. Cool. Well, you've had an hour and a half out of us tonight, guys. I hope that um, you've enjoyed listening to this show and listening to our ridiculous opinions on rubbish. <laughs> yes. Plus You're expansion welcome. pack. Plus expansion pack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be back next week. So will Steve. Yep. And um, we'll talk all things the draft. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk we'll, we'll, the usual stuff. We don't even need to explain what we're going to talk about the because we're just going to talk about it. We'll probably do the Eliminator next week as well. Yeah. And yeah, it'll be another fun episode, but next time with three of us. Yep. It'll be good. It's yeah. always good. You it's always it's good. You know always. it's always good. Everyone knows. Guys, do us a favor. Um, like the video. Share it. Um, leave us a positive comment. All that sort of stuff. Just uh, it helps us. Something to do with algorithms. <laughs> yes, YouTube and their algorithms. Yeah, leave us a nice review on Spotify. If you listen to it on iTunes, leave us a nice review on there. Just leave us a nice review. Say good yeah. things about us. Boost us up the charts in, for the podcast charts <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. It really does help us out. It does, big time. Yeah. Go check us out on social media at Games and Graps, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and Games and Graps on TikTok, youtube.com forward slash Games Graps for all your video content. Yes. And of course, just search for us on all podcast services. But for now, this has been episode 155 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts across podcast services everywhere. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I've already done the YouTube stuff, so I don't need to do it again. My name's Sonny G, and I've been here with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And we will indeed see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Let's take expansion pack. Leave us. Leave us plus expansion pack. Yeah. Yeah.